If you are easily offended, don't like foul language, and take things too seriously, this is not the podcast for you. Parental discretion is advised. In the world, people are represented by two separate, equally unimportant groups. The men represented by KB and the women represented by a different beautiful woman every episode. These are their stories. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this channel, please, because he always forgets to say that. I do always forget to say it. Welcome to this week's edition of KB's Bar Talk. We are back, and I'm super, super, super excited. My favorite Shit, person in funny. the entire, entire world. <laughs> Person I love more than anybody besides my mom or my dad. Friday the bartender has been revived from the dead. She is back. She's alive. Jesus was dead for three days. He came back. Friday was dead for three episodes. She came back. I'm not saying there's any comparison there, but I mean, you do the fucking math. She's here. And so I've missed her. I've told Matt Chavis every day that I'm lonely without her. I needed her back. She's giving me a cold shoulder all day, but that's okay. I'm going to warm her back up. She's gonna. She's happy to be back. I see the little smirk on her face. Uh, we've got balloons and strippers and candles mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. waiting on her after the episode. So she's coming bowling with us. She's happy to be back. Happy. Hey, guys. So welcome, <laughs> welcome back Friday. And then I have a special, special guest this week. We have Bella in the building. I'm going to let you Bella. go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, Big Bella, not the little one. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm Bella. Hey, um, like, what the fuck? I mean, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I mean, um, you know more about you than I do. You live I'm yourself daily. I'm originally from Orangeburg, South Carolina. I've been in Columbia since 2006. So I'm from Columbia, too. Okay. I bartend. I host. Um, I just do me. I like to get money, have fun. Live. I don't got no kids right now. Next year, I'll probably have one. But that's just that. Oh, next year you having a kid? Yeah. You, you know who with yet? Or are you still trying to figure you. out? You. Oh, I can't wait. I've been, <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting on one too. So I've been I've been telling people I'm ready to settle down. We'll find out. We yeah. Shut the cameras off. <laughs> Actually, leave them on. Fuck it. We'll, we'll make this baby video. All right. So, uh, anything else exciting going on in life? And um no just living every day like it's my last okay best way to live yeah. all right so friday you're back now you want to tell us what you've been doing while you while you've been gone or yo i literally went on vacation i went on vacation and they killed me while i was in the middle of the ocean so i don't know if that was hate or jealousy or like what that was submarine. we thought you was on that submarine no i was on a cruise uh -huh. um i yeah, mean what else? i mean like you didn't respond to none of the text no. so we just why, assume. why would I talk to y'all while I'm on vacation? It's a <laughs> vacation. I'm supposed to be breaking away from work. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I left you alone on vacation. Uh -huh. You had a nice vacation. You got a new job, too. You want to talk about that or mm. fuck them, huh? I mean, yeah, we could talk about it. I just um, got a new bartending job. It's nothing. I mean, it is great. It's a really great environment. Y'all should come out and see me at True Bistro. Um and yeah, that's about it. I'm writing them down <laughs> for some promo money. Okay. All right, so uh, <laughs> yeah. so you want to talk about your your experience last night, or you you want to say that for later? You say, I mean, you um, last night I worked at the Afties in Charlotte. Um, the money was there. It was some money in the building. Oh Jesus! I got home at 12 p.m. and I had to be here at 7:30. So I'm just hanging by a thread right now. But I'm here. Yeah, we we're, made we're it. You, you left here. there at 12 p.m.? No, I got home oh, at 12 oh. p.m. That's crazy, right? Yeah. She it's said fun. she was sleeping on every exit on 77 on the Listen, way home. She was like pulling God up on Rock Hill, Chester. Just cool. Yes, I had to take like, I expected to get home like 9, but 12 o'clock is fucking crazy. Like, that is crazy. It felt like I was coming from Atlanta. Man. That's hey, crazy. At least you made it. That's all that matters. Yes. All right, so so the first question we like to ask everybody on here is read or tell us the craziest DM or pickup line that you ever received. So you worked in a bar. I'm sure you had guys come up say crazy things to you all the time. What what uh or DMs? What you what you got? Well, you know, a lot of guys DM me and they talk crazy. They'll be like, "Oh, you my wife already, and you don't even know it yet." And I'm like, "Oh, I don't even know you, so I don't know that." But okay, <laughs> just. Have crazy. any have any of the crazy ones worked before or no? Hell no. 
What's the best way to approach you in a DM? How, how do they get you? The best way to approach me is definitely not in my DM. Like, I'm on flyers. <laughs> I work at clubs. I am not hard to find. Like, you don't have to run me down, baby. If you're looking for me, you know how to find oh, me. Oh, there go one of them. And when you find me, you got to have some money. Like, they gotta have money. tip me like $1,000 and leave your number on a $100 bill or something like that. You know? Oh, and you want to have a baby with me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I already know I can't I'm afford you. Saying, Not the $1,000 you, you can't forget that. Like, when you get home, you're like, this nigga really did. He tipped leave, the 1000 yeah, and, and a number. Yeah, and left his number on a $100 bill. What if what if you tip the 1000 and leave your number on a 100 but you fuck up, like, one of the numbers that you write down and she Shit, can't call I you? Mean, Man, that's... That'd that's be a crazy. tough. That'd that's be a God's tough plan. Idea. That means that that wasn't meant for. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how really. bad my handwriting is. So I, I, it'd be my thing. I actually pick her up, and then they can't read that seven. They think it's a one or some shit, and she calling somebody else. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh well. Take the L. You got any new crazy DMs Friday or? Um. No, I had to go off on somebody yesterday because they came in. I'm. I work happy hour at my job. Okay. Um. And they came in from brunch, drunk as hell. And mm. I really don't like when men come and be like, "Hey ma, hey ma, hey ma," or just you know, like not speaking to me like I'm a human being, like yeah. cat calling or I call it dog calling because y'all really talking to me like I'm somebody's dog. Um. So I had to go off on him because don't speak to me like that. I, I do the little whoop de whoop. Like, yeah, that's, all right. That's not, when I all walk right. in a building, that's what I say to you, and I get my drink. Oh, so really, nah, I've never said that to you. I'm, <laughs> I'm about to say because if you want to keep capping on this podcast, yeah. I'm about to show you how oh. yeah, I would be. Oh my god, please! Don't. I don't break up fights. No, no, don't break. Nah, Friday's gonna win. Friday's gonna win. Mm. All right. So the next question we ask everyone is, can you cook? Can I cook? I'm a motherfucking chef, baby. You're a motherfucking chef? The, I'm a motherfucking chef. Okay, I believe you. you no, you I'm was, so serious. Right. So uh, so what's your specialty? Everything. Everything. So there's nothing you can't cook? It's nothing I can't cook. Okay. But, all right, so we're having a dinner so for the podcast. It's me. Say, Baby, yeah, we might have to do I'm going to cook the spread. I promise you, I cook better than somebody's grandma, grandma. Oh, my God. Like, so. So I'm the betting 1800s on me. Generation. Yes, I'm betting on me. Okay. For real. Yeah, we got, I, I we promise got, you. So we got me, Chavis. You see, Chavis a little hefty over there. He's like, he's like the, <laughs> we got Matt, Shells, Friday. Everybody sitting here. We having a podcast dinner. I say you in charge, Bella. What you, what you bringing? Okay, so we having a pot. What what's the vibes? Like you want some bougie food? You want some snack food? Like. Give me, well, if give, I'm just getting off, you know, I'm on a, I'm in a fast right now, so I'm going to be hungry as hell in like okay. three days. So I really want you to like do a big one for me. Let me tell you what I would do. I would do you like some homemade mashed potatoes, you okay. know, not okay. instant homemade. Start with the appetizer. Some lamb chops. Okay. A succulent lobster tail with the lemon butter drizzle. Some broccolini. We are and probably a, <laughs> a macaroni or like a seafood mac and cheese and a little side salad, Caesar, toss, you know. You yeah, I'm gonna get you right. Going. You, All yeah. cow eat is cheese. Yes. Yeah, every day. I, do, I do eat cheese every day. We Definitely. might be in part. We we gonna have like a end of the year podcast special. I might have you in charge I'm, of cooking. Listen, y'all. Bring the bring the. Drink. I promise you. No, Once not, I cook for you, you mine. Oh my god! Yeah. You already said we were having a kid, so <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait. I'm so serious. You like white guys, Bella? Just this one. Oh. <laughs> I can, I change, I've never dated a white guy. I change ever. opinions quick. Oh. And then I then I reverse them. <laughs> oh, You'll never okay. date another white guy again after me. That's for God. Yeah, you give me <laughs> you give me a little crazy. Nah, I'm normal. Oh. I'm, I'm normal. Okay. The bitch be crazy. I'd be, I'd be the normal. <laughs> <laughs> Stop smiling, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, this ain't like. All right. So so you can throw down desserts too, or you just do the. I'm gonna stick to the food. The desserts. Stick to the real food. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. All right. Before we start the uh, the actual episode where we get drunk and make some bad decisions, uh, our new segment is the Urban Dictionary Word of the Day. You got some like bells and whistles you want to add to it Friday? Like you make it sound cooler <laughs> than I do or no? Okay. Fuck it. Chavis, let's read right. off the uh, Urban Dictionary <laughs> Word of the Day. All right. Today's um, Urban Dictionary Word of the Day is Abraham Lincoln. Great president. So it's a phrase. It's not a word. It's a phrase. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Abraham Lincoln, you shave your pubes and hold them in your hand. 
You get your mate to give you a blowjob, and when you come on her face, you throw the trim curlies the onto hell? your semen-soaked partner's face, and she will be left with a striking resemblance of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Example. <laughs> the examples are the best part, so let's get, to the, let's get to the example. Example. My girlfriend looked very presidential after I gave her an Abraham Lincoln. Um, and this was submitted by my boy Merck on November 17, 2004. So this has been a thing. Well, so it's been a thing for, yeah, it's almost 20 years running. Yeah. Uh, has anybody experienced an Abraham Lincoln? No. You have? No. You, have, you, got, the, you got the story for it? Does, no. I, what if they got, should they put the top hat on afterwards or does it just stop with the uh, with the beard, I guess? I feel like the top hat would add some character at least. But, hey. This might be mad personal, but Billy, you let him do it on your face. Are you a face girl? <laughs> but before the drinks, y'all want the truth or the lie? We want the truth. We came. Every okay, week. so I'm gonna be. Oh, oh. I'm gonna <laughs> tell y'all a little bit. Okay. I mean, if it's my man, it's whatever. You know. Yeah. Me personally, I'm a little kinky because I want to control you. So yeah, I'm a face girl. Okay. <laughs> Period. What, what about you, yeah. Friday? You you a face? Is that why you so light skin? No way. Um, clear. Y'all want to know the truth? I do give everybody like a one time pat. When excuse me, I'm so sorry. Not everybody. If I'm with you, if I'm okay. with you, you do get a one time pass, but you have to let me know before you do it. But no one has ever used it yet. Oh, oh shit! Now they're gonna use that it. bitch right huh? now. Now they're gonna use it. Shit, it's gonna be a long. Like you literally gotta be my man though. Right, like that's some right, like raw right. sex type of nah, situation you, for me. Right, so. You just said you let everybody. You was about to let it the was, whole oh line. Oh lord! <laughs> People that Matt I've been with. Travis is up here taking turns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not on their face, real quick. No, thank you. All right, but yeah. yeah. All right. Y'all so, a little too intense. I'm me. sorry. She started that. I wasn't. I was going crazy off the rip. I mean, I had to make it make sense because y'all just throwing out these random ass words. So it's the it's... Urban Dictionary word of the day. We're getting okay. sponsored by Urban the Urban Dictionary. We're getting really? great sponsorship money from them now, uh-huh. and things are starting to take off. We love what they're providing, so we got we got to shout them out with our word of the day. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So uh, let's get to the real episode now. Great segue there from nut on the face to taking shots but uh what, what what are what are we taking shots of today what what liquor are we drinking uh, it's your choice big don big bella give me some hypnotic for 100 hypnotic okay <laughs> Look, i wasn't baby expecting that hypnotic right. all right shots of hypnotic y'all ain't about to have me crawling out of what here you doing? you doing hypnotic too yes. you doing i'm gonna do the yeah, hypnotic nobody has ever done it no it's it's been it's been chat. I could throw them back easily. Yeah, we could do this all night. Stuff, I can't book me. That's all right. I've I've given up drinking. So Who gonna drive me home? I'll drive you home. <laughs> you already know. So now nah, I've given up drinking. I'm three days sober. So hypnotic's good for me. To good questions and better answers. So. I don't think I've ever had hypnotic straight. Honestly, that might be the first time. Was it good? good. Yeah, that's one word to describe it. It's not the one I would use, uh, but what would you use? <laughs> um, weak. Domestic violence. Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's weird. Oh my god! Know. It's just flavorful. It's definitely got some flavor okay. to it. Definitely interesting. All right. So how this podcast works is we have four bags of questions. First bag is the fuck Mary kill. That's in the gray ones. Then you have the purple personal, the green relationship, and the orange sex. So we'll start out with a fuck, marry, kill. One is females, one is males. I'm not sure which is which. So you can look in and see and then draw what you want. Oh, let me see. Yo, who broke this while okay, I was this on? Is male. That's males? Yeah, don't do females. But yeah. That's, that's nice, because nowadays everybody. You gotta draw. Does. <laughs> yeah, you gotta draw three names out of there. Three names? Mm-hmm. Well, I hope it's some people that I like. Can we put Brent in the bag so I can? Brent, <laughs> Brent, Brent is in the bag somewhere. Okay, oh, so yeah, I have three. Do you want to draw three too, Friday? Um, sure. This is now why they playing in my face? <sighs> I see some. He, he's in the bag too, actually. Listen, this is 
ridiculous, but mm. fuck, marry, or kill. Read the three names and then you can decide. Okay. Michael Jackson. Okay. Thriller. Hitler. Hitler. All right. And Justin Timberlake. Oh, you got some white people. All white right. people. Um, <laughs> but Michael Jackson is black. Sometimes. He bleached oh, himself yeah, yeah. white. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't, you didn't get the best trio. You okay. So I'm going to marry Hitler. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, okay. He's yeah. going to cry me a river. Okay. <sighs> Fuck, Mary kill. I don't even know why you're debating here. I'm going to kill Hitler. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to marry Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. And I'm going to fuck Michael Jackson. I mean, the way he danced, I'm pretty sure he can, he, he's can. he got some motion there, right? Oh, God. Hey, Michael girl, Jackson, really. really. Like, look at the titties. <laughs> <laughs> she got titties, too. You look at him. So. Yes, I paid for well. They did a good hey, job. Hell yeah. <laughs> Money well spent. I go <laughs> Money well spent. I feel like the climax would be probably like. You really think Michael Jackson? I feel like he would give you a little hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson you know, moonwalking that pussy. He's gonna go crazy oh, on God. that shit. Like, mm, he might. I don't, I don't know. What would you What would you go with? Just because you can dance, trip? don't mean you can fuck. <laughs> Just because I can't do either doesn't mean I can't. It was either. Hitler, Michael Jackson, and who else? Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Right. Hitler was angry as fuck though, so like <laughs> he might he might, just, just, <laughs> he might tear angry. that shit up. Like, <laughs> he might just dick you down like angry as shit. No, kill I'd some probably Jew. kill Hitler. Who am I fucking? I don't know. That's what we're asking you. Oh yeah, I would fuck Justin Timberlake and then marry my uh Michael Jackson. <laughs> Hopefully, like them lawsuits didn't cost too much yeah. and we got live at the Neverland. Yeah. Like, yeah. You got it. Yeah. All right, what trio you got Friday? Um, I got Michael Jordan. Is it B Jordan or? No, I regular? think there's okay. Michael Jordan and Michael B. Jordan okay, both okay. in a bag. If it doesn't have the B and then you got the regular Mike. Boo. Okay, Nelson Mandela and then No, throw, <laughs> throw Nelson Mandela out. That motherfucker's been on three straight Thank episodes. You. Okay. <laughs> so, draw I didn't want to cheat. I wanted nah, to cheat. Nah, he's been on three. I, I don't give a fuck. I, okay. I don't give a fuck about him anymore. If Brent, I hear his can name, you please fall in my hands? Because you know I want to fuck sorry. you so bad. <laughs> they got to stop putting Brent his ass back in it. Spider-Man? Oh, shit. Can I get Hold the on. black one? Which one? What? Yeah, That's which one? Yeah, I, I want Miles Morales. Okay, I didn't so. I had a black Spider Man. So. Oh my God. Huh? You're a pedophile. <laughs> a pedophile? Yeah, he is low key in high school. He in high school. In the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta grow up someday. Multiple black Spider Man? What the There's fuck? like a thousand Spider Mans, oh, actually. Y'all should right, go see so it. So, Michael Jordan, Spider Man. Damn, I guess I'll take white Spider Man and Lil Boosie. Huh. <laughs> Um, look, <laughs> mm. you fucking boozy. I could tell. Ooh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to fuck that ratchet ass nigga. Uh, <laughs> my bad. It seemed like your type. My bad. Uh, my bad. I just something is telling uh, me that Boosie would like find this clip if I say I'm gonna kill him and then just go off on me. And we gonna be his say ass. It. No, no, we're not. I love you, Boosie. I'm, I, I'm your biggest fan. I don't want any smoke. I'll tell. You, I'll take sm smoke with pretty much anybody in the world except for Boosie. Right. Mm -hmm. Boosie, please, please, don't, see. please don't go off me. <laughs> but I would have to marry Michael Jordan, fuck Spider Man, and then kill Boosie. Kill Boosie. Right. I'm sorry. What you going with, Bella? You doing the same? Um. Okay. So. Michael, B Michael Jordan, Boosie, and Spider Man. I'm gonna marry Michael Jordan. I'm gonna fuck Spider Man and I'm gonna kill Boosie. Yeah, everybody just. <laughs> Damn. I Boosie, mean, I, Boosie getting faded for real. Boosie just, no offense to Boosie, don't come for me, motherfucker. But he just look like he'll get on a pill and go crazy. Yeah. He got, he got a bunch of kids too. Like, I'm sure. Yeah. Y'all right, got it. He a little wild. They're gonna pick an animated character so over a real person. Yeah. It's all fun and games, Boosie. Ah! What would be my stripper name? Oh. <laughs> I am a stripper in real life, but oh my fucking god! Not that though. That's fine. Oh yeah, please. Don't right, hold on, we we supposed to take a shot before the question anyway. Okay. I'm gonna let you answer that, but I'm gonna give you what I think your stripper name should be. <laughs> Bella Sky. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> 
What do you think my stripper name should be? I mean, I, yo, I be thinking about that like, damn, what's the, what should I name her as if she was a stripper? <laughs> like you be, I be thinking about like. That Everybody that's like an everyday thought for you. Not <laughs> an everyday thought, but like sometimes, like when I'm in the strip club, it's the bartenders that you normally mm-hmm. see. The bartenders get a lot more played more in played the in than the strippers I these love days. Vault. I miss Vault so much. Yeah. We miss Vault. Bring so back fun. Vault, please. Free us. For right, real. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I say Paradise. No, my Paradise. best bitch is Paradise. She and got that name on lap. Yeah. Oh, see. Underscore that's... Paradise she'll, she'll Jordan be here soon. to be she'll exact. Be here yeah, soon. she's gonna be here. Oh, okay. No, not Paradise. I can take you to Paradise, but no, not Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, Tyler, not here. Huh? Your teeth will be smiling. <laughs> okay, what would my stripper name be? Not Smiley. Let's see. You give me like butterfly vibes, but I don't want to say like butter. Like it's butterfly. just something like no, don't no, no, not that. Butterfly but just is kind of sexy and sensual. If you think of a butterfly, you know butterflies are beautiful. So pretty. I would go yeah. Bella the body, like play on Buffy the body. Mm, no, Buffy okay. the body is oh, played fuck. out. The okay. body is played out. Okay, all right. Well, fuck my opinion. <laughs> she um, was killing the game back when she was around. She was yeah. Killing. No, I'm not saying she's played out. I'm just saying like the body. You know, mm-hmm. everybody putting okay. the body okay. in their name. But That's you got, not you got, you got one of the best bodies yeah. in the city, right? Let me think. So. Let me see. What would be my stripper name? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Didn't you already say you were a stripper? You don't have a name. I'm playing. I'm not a stripper. Mercedes. I think I could be. Mercedes body. or like diamond. You got the Mercedes out there. Yeah, you got anyway. the. I'm seeing yes. diamond too. Big body. Diamond. diamond. I'm seeing diamond. A okay. girl's yeah. best friend. Okay, and that's yeah. not played <laughs> out, but Bella the body was. Okay. Yeah. No, there's only, diamond. There's only a diamond the, at every You got strip to think club. of, but them diamonds won't be me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've been with about 40 diamonds. We're They're not gonna diamonds. Be. You flawless. Period. Shut the fuck up. Clarity, <laughs> baby. <laughs> What's your What's your stripper name? Friday Freaky Friday. I really no. I really think I would keep Friday, but I like I, I I've true. already thought about it though. Like if I do go, it's a one night only, but I'm going to practice so fucking hard. It's gonna be like this mm. bomb ass routine. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like a, a mashup of like two to three songs, and it's but, gonna be so pretty. What are Listen, the songs? What are the songs you going with? I don't know. It's gonna be when Brent. Gotta that? be yeah. Brent is gonna be one of them. It's I probably wanna, gonna be for my birthday. Cash said we didn't real. get the memo, so no hey, seriously. Crazy thing. I want to replay my birthday nights. So bad. I should have came out for your birthday. My cousin night. went to middle school with Everybody him. She was... know him like real well. Well, you need to tell your cousin. Oh, he need to come to tell him for me. That'll be my one night only for real. Yes. Woo. And I'm, oh. I'm taking hard ass classes. What's like, I'm your getting song in the gym. that you gonna dance? Yo, that's your, what I'm trying to. Yo, boom! Like when they play this song, the niggas gonna go. Well, the, you know, I'm not like an popping. ass thrower. Like I would be like an actual Cole. like. Oh, Paul, yeah. you want to work? Oh, you gonna be like Krishan off of P Valley? Yeah. Real yeah. pretty, real pretty. That's gonna be sexy. Real pretty. Okay. So what's you your, song? your cricket little cricket little song? song? My stripper song. <laughs> no, I can't throw. My neck would hurt. God damn. Um, <laughs> I don't know. My stripper song. You know, I if y'all ain't ready for it, y'all ain't ready for it. No, but no. Bella's like her performance would be like high energy. So like her would, would be, be mad yeah, high energy. You think so? I yeah. feel like I feel like I'm it's gonna so be like subtle. splits with the ass just popping like. Uh-huh. Okay. You don't think so? That's what I'm thinking. But um, mm. I'm about to say when you was in vault recently, you did the meat meal joint, ain't it? Yeah, she did drains of nightmares. Yeah, she did drains of nightmares. It was the energy. I would have given up my whole wallet. <laughs> she would have. Where your wallet at uh, now? Nah, it's, it's in the car. Where's the wallet? <laughs> Go done, get it. I done lost it. I done lost <laughs> it. <laughs> Damn, that's but, crazy. I was supposed to be there that night. Song. I didn't. Let me tell you, my birthday had, night, it was she lit. Had, I knew it's it was fun, lit. It was fun, but I didn't really get to deliver what I wanted to. Like, I really was going to go up there and, like, do some shit. And they was going to be like, this girl really came up here and, like, went crazy. Damn. But, you know, I kept it cute. It I knew, but I was supposed to be two. there, but I didn't go out. But. We Don't worry. We going to run it back for Friday birthday. Yeah, Can't wait. What is it? I got six months to get ready. Get, you, get in the gym. <laughs> no, yes. Get in the pole dancing classes. I'm starting back Wednesday. Period. Oh, okay. I gotta get it together for real. All right. So stripper names? No, we still don't know. No, I'm going with Friday. I'm keeping going, Friday. Oh, just straight Friday. Period. And why change it up? Freaky Friday. Friday and Diamond. Cause why? Friday and Diamond. Y'all gonna know the fuck that is me. I I'm gonna come in there and say what? Oh, I'm Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's Friday. Just, all right, we got it. So yeah, we, I'm not we, going back either. So it's, it really. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Kyle, what's your stripper name, cuz? Uh, 
Uh, what's my stripper name? Kyle motherfucking Brown. Uh, I'll go with uh, I'll go with like White Magic maybe. <laughs> white Milk. I don't know. <laughs> like, milk. Oh, white milky. Milk. Milky. Milky. It's just giving two percent. Two percent skim. Like yeah. skim shady. Okay. <laughs> That's I pretty like cool. Skim shady. <laughs> skim shady. I like Skim Shady. Skim Shady. Oh, oh my god! On. I got the worst stripper names ever. Oh, this is. Oh yeah. Such a mom. I'm popping I, I a pill for our strip. It says, ours, well. um, "What morals and values do you want to teach your children?" I throw it away. Somebody threw that back in the bag. Fuck that kid. Okay. Oh, not fuck we, my baby we, though. We, no, not Here yours. Oh, okay. We love your kid. Okay. We love him. He's a great kid. Damn, I don't know, because I date broke niggas, obviously. This says, oh. what is the best and worst gift that you have ever received? Mm. That's a good question. <sighs> the best? What is the best thing someone has ever given me? Life. Damn, it was good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn, I got a tattoo. <laughs> no, the wand. She gifted herself the wand. I did. You want me to answer it? Industrial level. The wow. best gift someone's ever given me? I don't know the best. Yeah, gift. y'all go first because I really got to think. <laughs> I know the worst gift someone. My grandmother used to be the, like the worst gift giver in the world. Like mm. she was terrible. Like it was <laughs> like she gave me like ketchup one year for Christmas. Now I do love ketchup, no, and that was the best. That was <laughs> that was like the best gift she ever was. It gave like me, a classic was a ketchup bottle collection? of like yeah. But she gave me the hunts and I eat the Heinz, so I'm like damn, you, and it's still like the best gift you gave me. So what? she was terrible. She gave she would give me like tube socks. She would give me like oh, the tidy whitey underwear. I don't even wear these, Grandma. It's like at least do some research. Finally, my mom just took over and was like, "Hey, give give me like <clears throat> twenty or something. And I'll go get Kyle what he wants." So she was mm-hmm. she used to give horrible gifts. Love you, rest in peace. But God, her gifts were terrible. Um, best gift I ever got. Um, I don't know. I like. I have a bunch of gifts that, like, I got a TV before. That was a nice gift. Um, I don't know. It'd be the thoughtful ones, though. Like, if you if you buy me some shit that you know, like, some, like, Clemson shit that I know you put some thought in. Or, like, I got a Godfather poster. I was like, damn, that's a pretty cool idea. Like, you had to really know me to get that. Right. Uh, so it'd be, like, the thoughtful thing. I guess nobody really gives a shit about me and gets me anything good. So, I don't know. I think this is why it was so hard, but I got my best gift now. You so got your best gift? Yeah. Um, because I like I like materialistic things, but I like to pick my own stuff because I'm very picky about it. Um, so my best gift was when my best friend, we planned my last birthday to Jamaica. Like that was my first trip out of the country. Like that was very meaningful to me, like because it was an experience. Okay. Um and it wasn't something that I was like, Oh no, fuck that. I don't like it. I'm not gonna right. use it. So I do like experiences. So that was the best gift for me. And then my worst gift, I've gotten a lot of worst gifts. And I know it's <laughs> some people looking and watching at this and was like, yeah, I know my shit was on there. So I don't even want to hurt their feelings. Hurt them. <laughs> Make them cry. No, because we like, I think I've fallen out with, in friendships because of like worst gifts. What? Tell us more. You gotta. Yeah. You gotta, uh, <laughs> really? Like, I mean, it's not. But I didn't say no. Fuck you, girl. Like I don't be afraid. It was more so like I think they peeped that I didn't like it and they felt like I was being ungrateful. ungrateful. When I mean, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. I'm sorry. So, so do you like put on a show? Like my dad's like terrible with opening gifts. Like he shows no fucking emotions. He just like. I really don't like opening stuff in front of people because I'm kind of like Bella. Like that, that pressure is too much. Like I'd rather just Let open me it. Enjoy I, my nah, mom. I'm just, like my family's weird. I, I like it. Like I love the tradition. But every Christmas and birthdays, we do the same shit. Like, but every Christmas, I'm at my. I spend a night at my parents' house still on Christmas and go over there and like we all open up like gifts Christmas morning together. And my dad, he opens it and he's like. On another shirt. And my mom, she has to take a picture of every fucking thing. You oh, wouldn't believe see, I don't got time My for mom that. takes a picture of every gift you open up. It's nuts. And my dad's just like, shirt. And he just, like, he gets so mad. Then he starts folding the paper. So do you show emotion with the gift or you, you try, try and fake really it? I really hard, but y'all, my facial expressions. You'll yeah, see it's it. hard to, You'll yeah. See it. I've seen it all day to day. Like, you trying to ah. act like we still cool, but. But fa- you killed me, so. Oh, she my gonna God. Beat your ass. She's not going to be my ass. She's too nice for it. The Columbia High coming out. Oh. <laughs> what about you? What's the best gift and worst gift you ever got? Um, I will agree with Friday. Like, my best gifts are, like, trips, experiences. <clears throat> like, 
with girls. We shop all the time. We buy materialistic shit all the time. But you can't get up every day and just go out the country to somewhere that you've never been. Taste food you've never tasted. Like, mm -hmm. just a cultural experience. So, Those my best, best gift. Sales too. Okay. Now, yeah, I, I'm big on the trip thing. Okay. Yeah. You got, ever got a gift that you were like, God damn, this is terrible? Uh, I'm one of those people. Like, even if you get me a bad gift, I'm going to try to make, make the, 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 the best out the worst gift. Yeah, I'm not going to say the worst, but, you know, we made it do what it do. Okay. I was thankful. I, I, I did something with it. Okay. Regifted it. Yeah, you make me sound like no. I won't regift it. You won't no. regift. Give it back to them next year. And be like, hey, this. No, sucks. like for like. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, <laughs> no, you know, like grandparents buy you stupid shit. That's what I'm shit. telling yeah, you. Like, like, you might get a fucking toothbrush. <laughs> a toothbrush. <laughs> Your favorite song. Washing powder, like I don't use that though. At least yeah, I, I do use it, use it but goddamn, like <laughs> it's kind of ironic we got this question because yesterday I was texting you, I was like, Help me, um, help me figure out what to get my mom for her birthday because her birthday next I week. I said, Buy her okay. a dryer, I would love a new dryer. Mm -hmm. She said, a, a refrigerator, dryer, yes. or washer. Yeah. I'm like, yes. what the Women love appliances, yeah. <laughs> my mom don't do shit for laundry, she so. don't cook. Y'all push it in refrigerators? She don't do shit. She yeah, does okay. put shit in the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. no, she does, like she's nice out shopping, door. doing all the shit. She doesn't cook. Although she's making spaghetti tomorrow, and that's like the one thing she she can kill some spaghetti. She's okay. like fan. And well, she doesn't even eat it. Set. Huh? A new pot. She wouldn't be happy. Okay. Why? She wants materialistic shit, like bags, jewelry. But I, I feel like I've gotten her like everything. So it's like, what the fuck do you get somebody? She's bougie. Yes and no. But she'll like take some cheap jewelry too and some nice jewelry. Like right. it's like she like got a weekend trip to the beach or something. Dude. Yeah. And experience. We she has a fucking that. condo at the beach. Like she like So get her another <laughs> condo at the beach. I'm going home. It ain't hers. Y'all ain't helping me. <laughs> so. or, or take her to Florida. Take her to the strip club. I'm not taking Alright, finally. I'm <laughs> this is funny. Would you date someone that is bisexual? <laughs> Hell motherfucking no. Hell motherfucking yeah. Hell motherfucking no. <laughs> of course. Bisexual. For me, yeah. For me? You date a bisexual man? Um, I don't think you don't should. Know. She already well, did. Yeah, hell hey. no. <laughs> hey. She well, already <laughs> while, he hitting it, while he hitting it from the back, he getting... <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's just like a fucking train. <laughs> like it's I like I need it's to be like the only one getting hit from the back, baby. <laughs> no. I just but the biggest thing for me though is <laughs> like the trust issue. So like not only now do I gotta worry about bitches, but I gotta worry about niggas, niggas too. So like that's a lot. Like, that's a lot. The nigga I'm looking at, you looking at the nigga meeting <laughs> <laughs> for the same nigga. Like y'all oh. think you got a big dick? Like yeah, no, boo. You wanna take him off? Nah, I definitely, I would definitely uh -uh. date a bisexual girl though, for sure. Because it's a, it's an advantage yeah. for you. Yeah, I want yeah. threesomes. Is anyway. it? Because what if a bitch take your bitch? Now you mad? A bitch is taking my bitch plenty of times. Now like, you this, no, a, this has happened to me a couple of times. It's like, one thing to get cheated on, but yeah. it's another if a bitch leave you for a bitch. No, it's happened. <laughs> a bitch left me for a bitch <laughs> while she was pregnant. Like, oh, <laughs> so, so what you? Nah, I'm just, so, nah, <laughs> so what you mean? I ain't even. Nah, fuck that. That's, That's when I was like, all right, my dick is not any good anymore. It's over Ooh. for me. Like, damn, this strap on is killing it better than I am. So let me ask you this. So, do you think it was the sex? No, there was so much more to that story. I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm adding a lot of flavor to it for podcast purposes. Okay, but there was a lot to that you. story. Okay. But uh, I would definitely date a bisexual woman. I think I have dated a bisexual woman. So, I mean, <clears throat> I, don't, I would prefer, like, honestly, despite all the shit I talk, I would prefer, like, a traditional marriage with, like, a happy wife and right. normal shit. But I know that's not going to, like, the lifestyle I live, I realize that's probably not going to happen. So, fuck it. A little bisexual. I hate that people say that. I still got hope. I still got hope. Hey, I yeah. still believe in fairy tales. I'll say tales. this. Like, for a dude, it's cool for you to date a bisexual woman because yeah. you you have the dreams of the menage a trois, blah, 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 blah. But, like, women, they be on edge when, like, they're deal dealing with a bisexual dude. I don't mm. I'm not gonna a, bi a bisexual it's dude a no seems out of line. I, I still don't. You're not bisexual. You're gay. That's what I'm. Oh, thank you. Just, you I trying to use hey, me as a cover it. up to look I didn't good? Say it. No, I'm I didn't just say being it. Yeah, I did, I just, very honest. I do, I do yeah. not know how there's. A, I don't understand. If you have had pussy before, how can you want dick? 
Like as the a heart man, want what the heart want, baby. well, a, well, a woman got an asshole too. So, so let me ask you this: <laughs> If you're a bisexual man and you want to have a threesome, and I say, okay, well, let's bring another nigga in. That's okay. You, I mean, you think it, I would be okay with that? You had a fucking line. <laughs> <laughs> if there's another man coming to my bedroom, that his dick Jeez. getting chopped off, and he getting Damn, shot. There's a real crazy. domestic violence situation happening there because everybody in that room dying except for me. If another man coming, but to that's my bedroom. the thing, man. Like it's one thing, like when you bring two girls because we know what's gonna happen. But yeah. see, when you bring two dudes and you don't know if the dude. <laughs> 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 He just sneak up behind you and start, start feeling on your bend neck over, and your nigga. ear. <laughs> if a man ever tell me to bend over, it's over. Bend like, over, nigga. Either he dying or I'm dying at that point. Like, don't don't ever tell me oh to bend God. over. Like, you crazy. Like, hell no. It's I still don't think a bisexual man exists. I don't get it. I don't mm, get it. They exist. They just not living in their truth. It's crazy. To they me. say bisexual because it sounds good. Yeah, it sounds gay. Would you marry someone of the opposite race? Hell no. What would be opposite of me? Mm-hmm. I would do a Hispanic though, or like um, a Jamaican. Or I, that's black though, right? Two already mixed, right? Yeah. A Arab. No. <laughs> I don't know. Probably I mean, not. I if they know. were I feel like they, they're too I controlling. Like the the um. They're like relationship dynamics. Like you not about to control me. Like it's just certain shit you that like I'm not. Is controlling? Yeah. Very controlling. They gotta oh, wow. wear the yeah. Like in certain cultures, they gotta wear the not turban. It's turban for the males. What is it? I don't a know. A job. Yeah. They, yeah, they gotta have their a face while. covered. They aren't allowed to go out. <laughs> I think a lot of countries they aren't allowed to vote. Have any rights really for the women? What's mm. the white man who did um white man the new white man can't jump? Uh, Jack Harlow. Yeah, so I would marry a white man, but it's got to be like that type of white man. Like he got a little flavor. Yeah, yeah. a little spicy. Yeah. Honorary talk. black white man. Mm. I mean, Kyle okay. <laughs> We're not doing this again. <laughs> Kyle um, eats cheese every day. That just really bothers me for some reason. Like it just really bothers me. You know what? <laughs> like, how how I'm gonna get married uh, from her, but then it's gonna end because I eat cheese every day. What cheese and milk, like that shit is gonna piss me in. off. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Like, you want white cheese. You you want yeah, to. I do want white so cheese. So I get married and then I come over for Thanksgiving. Well, I'm at home for Thanksgiving dinner and you cook white fucking mac and cheese. I'm gonna get go pissed off. Else. Go somewhere well, else. Well, go think, to my other wife. I think because most black people are lactose intolerant. Well, I'm not lactose intolerant. My stomach's fine after eating fucking you know, cheese just, every I day. Feel like, I feel like my four year old has a better diet than you. I think that's why it's like pissing me off because I've just been like, to nice restaurants and eat nice food around yeah, you though. But like. On a normal, it's grilled cheese like every day, and that shit and milk. And you pizza. like grilled cheese like that? Grilled cheese is like my favorite. So food. you I'm eat, not gonna lie. you eat bro, college food. days with with Kyle is crazy, bro. <laughs> I used to eat bologna sandwiches and grilled cheese sandwiches every day for lunch. I still pretty much do. Like fried oh, bologna wow. or bologna you straight see. out the refrigerator. You fucking nasty. <laughs> you fucking nasty. Cold bologna and cold cheese. That's what I'm saying. Just it's shit like that just would piss like me off. Sandwiches, yo. It my like... cheese has to be melted anytime. Hey. My bologna got to be fried. Hey, we used to go edges. to a yeah. hey, quick story. We used to go to like this little place we called the bodega. The it, was bodega. A corner, it was a corner store, like right beside their um their uh, dorm where they were staying at. And mm-hmm. I used to like come stay there all the time. I'm going in there, I'm getting a Philly cheese steak. <laughs> I'm getting some like something good, like some meatball chicken, subs. meatball <laughs> sub, something crazy. This is my getting a grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that looks <laughs> Yeah. A little girl behind the counter, you suck me up too. Yeah, for a grilled cheese. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. College days. College but, days. Lord. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying for shit in that motherfucker. Well, it was cheese. I would give it away too. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Um, <laughs> I, love, I miss the bodega. <laughs> I miss the bodega. Uh, but it literally was like all you had to do was walk out my room and the door was right beside it, but you couldn't walk through that back door. You had to go around. But good times. So my diet, but would you? Okay, so you would marry someone of the opposite race. I would. You just gotta, you know. You gotta be. You just can't eat cheese. But, <laughs> you gotta but, eat more but, than just cheese and milk. All right. You gotta. You gotta have a. Yeah. What about you, Bella? Would you marry someone of the opposite race? I mean. We already found out you would have a kid with them. But it depends on how they treat me and like our beliefs and things of that nature. 
Okay. I mean, I'm not opposed to dating outside of the black race, but it wouldn't necessarily be a go to. I don't know. I might walk out of here and meet a fucking. I don't Rico know. Rico Suave, little Spanish too. Yeah, and I might like them. Yeah, you might want <laughs> I already, I already told my fiance my next chick is a uh, Latina. I don't. She oh, beat the shit Lord. out of me. Nah. I mm. wish I could meet. Why not? Her. I mean, why would she? Like, I'm being honest. That's the one thing that she like. I'm brutally honest. I'll tell the truth all the time. I, but she, I'll never lie. So if you ask me a question, as long as you ask me the question, I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sound like. No, I, but I, no, I, I'm dead ass here. Like I tell like Eva Mendez, that's my next, that's my next wife. I'm aiming for that after. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh well, see that's the thing. She would share her with me. So that's not a, that's not an issue. I wish I could find me a Spanish chick. I'm, I've been looking for. One. Kyle, I think the the golden question for you is: Would you marry your race? Would I, <laughs> 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 would I, would I marry my race? Yeah. I'm I'm thinking about just leaving all all the black women in my life and just surprising them and just be like, hey, got me a little white. Bitch. You don't like white girls? No, I like white girls. Fine. When I was in college, I was around a lot of more white girls, but right. now I'm never around white women. So like high school, I was never around white women because mm-hmm. I went to a high school that was what like eighty percent black, and same with middle school. Then college, I went to a college that was like what seventy percent white. So then I was around more white women, but I was dating a <coughs> black girl for half of that. So. I don't know. I would definitely. I would marry. I would marry anybody, woman wise. It doesn't right. matter. I mean, I prefer black and Spanish women, but if if it's the right white woman, I would be. I would definitely marry. Her, so go Stacy. <laughs> Only no white one, one white woman right now. Anyway, shout out Marissa. Uh, oh, but, <laughs> oh Lord, I'm <laughs> screaming. No, I'm but nah. Shooting the shots on camera. Nah, I'm not shooting my shot at Marissa. <laughs> I love Marissa, but I don't want to marry Marissa. If you are going on a date with someone you want to have sex with, what are you wearing? That's not that spicy either. That's boring. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to date. I'm gonna put on out. a sundress with no panties, no sundress, bra, no, no nothing. Panties. Yeah. Okay. Damn, I'm trying to find the spicy questions. So where you want to go to dinner to next week? Where? What's the? Uh... Surprise me. Okay, what you wearing? And when she got the panties on, you gonna be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and the bra, like she got the grandma bra. Like, I know she ain't trying to do that. Yeah. This is a shame for so, us. Have you ever trapped your partner during sex? And I do <laughs> quite often, but I don't be meaning to because you're a crazy bitch. Yeah, no, so, and not trapped as in like have a baby. That's not what it's. So like. how do you trap them? What do you What do you do? You just well, the name of the game is supposed to be like pull out, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you just don't let them pull out. You just let them nut all in you and Plan B it. So wait. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. We You're the leading B. hepatitis expert in South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, in Columbia, so let's, South Carolina. let's be smart about it. But she said it's her, but, she said it's her gato. If yeah. you, but no, she didn't say wait, it was her gato. She never I'm said not it. out here. For wait, wait. Yeah. So are we <laughs> doing never. no condom or condom? No, she playing B. She ain't it. trap you with the condom on. <laughs> yeah, it ain't a trap. That, oh, that's what I'm making sure that she's saying. Because uh, every time she talks to me, make sure you wear a condom. Yes, please make sure you wear a condom. Please be smarter. <laughs> like, don't tell me to make sure I'm wearing a condom. You over here trying to hold it nah, in. Like, she trapping. Hey, give me all that. She's Fill me up. on like, that dick until you not everywhere in that shit. <laughs> Come on. I, don't, I don't know. It's just something about like when I just see you about to get there, like it's just an automatic lock in. Well, like, you know what? Oh, you lock your legs around them. I do like it. I do they like it. You like, oh my. When they nothing, then you like fuck up everything. Like it just fuck up the mood. So you just keep going. <laughs> So you just keep going and just let them nut everywhere and then like, all right. Depending on my move, I be like, don't fucking move. All right. So he got 50 for the plan B in the morning. I ain't worried about it. No, 100. <laughs> I got them. I got them right by the bedside table. You just pop it on I'm the way out the door. Okay, so, been a couple- so you a trapper too? You, Bella, you, you like the trap? Trap or die, nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't ban the snowman. You got right. it. All right. Have you ever walked in on a friend having sex? Have you ever been walked in on having sex? I have been walked in on having sex. Tell us a story. Bye. <laughs> My cousin. Okay. And it was so weird because it's like she froze. And I turned around like, bitch, what is you doing? And she just stood there for probably like 30 seconds. Oh, she and then watched she walked it. Out the room. <laughs> you, were, you was giving back shots or what you was doing? <laughs> 
What about you, Friday? You ever been walking in on having sex? <laughs> By my mom. Like, long girl. Long time. Yeah, what? in high school, when that's when I was not supposed to be doing. Yeah. Oh, my God. I would have cried. Your Definitely. Mom and then, then they had my uncle pull up, like, after that. Looking for the dude? Oh, baby. It was. Oh, uh, he was. was what was, did you do when your mama walked in? Why didn't you lock the door? She girl, leave, I was. She leave uh, doors open. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, yeah. That was a rule in my house, though. No locked doors. So I guess it was just like out of habit to not lock the lock doors. The door. Yeah. yeah. I would have, be so, and so your mom I would walked cry. in. You ain't got no business I would cry. What did you <laughs> did do? Shells got walked in with naked oh. bitches in his house last week. <laughs> I think I'm so that definitely fucked me up, though. Like, that was something. Damn, like, yeah. my mama does see. <laughs> hey, I've, I've been caught in the act, but not in the act. I left evidence. Nah. But what you, you did? Got? Man, like I was my old chick back in the high school days. I was um, I was going over there during late start. I remember and every Wednesday, Wednesday morning you <laughs> was every, going over there. To... Every Wednesday morning, it turns up, and then um, one day I uh, I was in a rush because I th- think her dad was oh, coming I down. This shit. Yeah, I, th- <laughs> <laughs> I, remember. I thought her dad was coming down. So um, no, no, her dad wasn't even there. I thought her mom was coming down. Her mom was coming down, so and she didn't have a first block, so she was there the whole day. I was mad as hell about this. I normally like, have this routine where I like throw the condom away when I get to school. I left it on the kitchen counter, Damn. filled up. Oh, oh wow! Oh shit! Her mama whooped her ass, and you left that shit on Bro. the kitchen. Bro, yeah, nuts. She went to, she went to, um, she she left it there, and she went to class. She she didn't come in the um. Class to like second block, so it was like nine, ten o'clock at that point, and then I told her to go back home and go get that shit. Her mom was home, and then she came back. She's like, "Hey, yeah, she found it." it <laughs> and then like they had, I, I would have said it wasn't me. Her. Shit, it was in her house. In her I don't kitchen. give a fuck. It was yours. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> her dad was found in that shit raw. She knew better. He yeah. was fucking somebody else. No. It wasn't yeah. me. Yeah, I'm not breaking up mom and daddy. Your, your, your husband is cheating on you. My, my dad is cheating on my mom. Are you going to believe him over me? Yeah, I would never. Yeah, <laughs> boy, yeah that I, re- I remember time. that. That was a long time. I remember boy. them days. Yeah, damn, that's a long it's time. It's crazy because like, I'm older and I think my mom still sees me for my innocence. Like I, I be like, mm, it's weird. I am not innocent at all, mom. I'm a, I'm, I am innocent. I'm a little freak. But, not me. I'm innocent. I don't fuck no more. First so. of all, that's not even Bella. That's Diamond. Oh, Diamond. Diamond is a freak. Diamond is a freak. <laughs> Friday's a freak over there, though. No. Okay. Yeah, didn't y'all call me Grandma Sex like three episodes? You are Grandma Sex. They did? Why? You, you got... Because I'm a pillow princess. Fuck it. Like, oh, you know, God. The stupidest. That's how you know that nigga be making these fucking questions. What is that? Would you have sex with a mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> he is fucking crazy. I would. I, would, I, mean, I, know I don't know if you want to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> that shit wet as fuck. That shit be in the ocean. All- <laughs> See, that's why that's, that's a, good a good question. That's a good question for me. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is super soaking. I want everybody to answer this question. <laughs> Kyle's definition won't be much. But go ahead. What's, What's your definition fuck? of great sex? <laughs> I come. Pussy. No. <laughs> no, no, no. My uh, definition of great sex. I'm gonna ooh, tell you mine, and I want you. Okay. To, I want everybody to tell me that. Okay. My definition of great sex. You make me cry like it's so good. I got to cry like the tears is just coming out my eyes, and I'm just thinking, <laughs> God, where the fuck did this nigga come from? <laughs> I just want you to know what's going through his mind right now is I really don't have no chance in the world. <laughs> <laughs> With this girl. No, for real. Like, y'all ain't never had some sex so good. Like, I ain't never had sex good enough Ooh, to make me cry. Tears, some tears come out your eyes. Have you? Okay. <laughs> she, she, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> two nights ago. Man. No, I did not say that. No, no. But, mm. She done cried before. My definition of great sex on my, if I'm giving good sex, if I'm doing my part, is is she fall asleep like right after? If I if I can do my job and she knocked out right after, now she like, all right, Kyle, let's watch a show, let's go again, and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't. She might have had a long day at work. She gonna go to sleep regardless. <laughs> well, then I'm that's cool. <laughs> let me let me believe what I believe in my head. That, all right, I knocked that shit out right. <clears throat> I'm choked. <laughs> I'm about to die. <clears throat> the bitch is tired. 
She went to sleep. She I did my job. She some melatonin before y'all fuck because she know you got a good 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> she got to be ready to go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> Friday oh, want to just bash my dick all episode. I don't appreciate that. You killed me. You got to leave a puddle. <laughs> what kind of puddle? A, a puddle. A bad puddle. A, puddle. a bad puddle. And yeah, then there's so- two. I got two answers. <laughs> y'all to that. can't even fall Sometimes, asleep in the sheets. Some shit's soaking so it. Well, no, I I ain't never had it like that, oh. but but boy, I'm like, damn, I gotta go change the sheets. That I'm just fucking sad. What about changing <laughs> but, the mattress? The whole mattress? Like the <laughs> you gotta flip that bitch over to what? This shit was so. We don't need a new mattress. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, we don't need a new mattress. <laughs> we gotta go to mattress firm right after. <laughs> like, <laughs> I ain't never. And this time we got to upgrade the mattress. I want the adjustable one. Oh no! <laughs> we get a sleep number bed and shit in this bitch. Like, yeah. like we just. What is your setting? Eighty eight. Like, what, what, like, like that's how good the fucking dick was. Like, you change, is you that or if like y'all both like climaxing at the same time, which is kind of rare. <laughs> By but, rare, you mean it's never happened to me. <laughs> 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 But if y'all both do that, that shit great. Cause then, no, what you want to know the thing is the, the woman can feel like when we about to bust. So. Yeah. Oh, so they I'm already know. That's why yeah. I'm that's what, Yeah, that's, 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 that's I already know. I'm crying. I'm trying to get there. So it's like, shit, just hold that for a second. Y'all going to do it at the same time. Yeah. Oh, you know better than me. I'm, if I'm about to bust, I'm busting. Like, fuck it. <laughs> uh, we coming now. This is, this is what I came here Kyle, for. Kyle, can I tell you something? Tell me. Don't, don't be mad. I'm, no, I'm about to be mad. <laughs> we about to have domestic violence. <laughs> no, seriously. No, I could tell you, my bad. I'm just, I'm gonna hush. No, 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 no don't tell us. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, he ain't gonna be. He can't get mad. I'm gonna beat you no, up. No. Continue. I'm just playing. But no, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you later. What you about to tell me about? Right you about to tell me about some girl that fucked me, or you about to tell me? We got a viral clip. We need to go viral. No, I tell it. Some girl says some shit. Kyle like, gives me Jack Rabbit vibes. <laughs> <laughs> like you fuck really, really fast. Oh yeah. And then, <laughs> and then you go nothing in two minutes and she's like, we yeah, just baby. fucking started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Call really? Me, call me Peter Rabbit, whatever the fuck you want to call me. Like, um, yeah, I'll be. Cow. You, you want that baby and we're gonna make it happen quick. We, <laughs> we ain't got no time. Like I ain't got time to waste. I got a busy oh, schedule. Like you me. really oh, got man. homework to do. You really gotta like elongate that. that. Like yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> fuck it. You gotta you, take your what, time. You want me to be sensual with it? Yeah. I mean, so if we're cycling back around, that's my definition of good sex. I love a good sensual, like we start and slow, but we, we nice. finish fast, but Monday, we both bust at the same time. Nice hey, Monday play. through Friday, I ain't giving you my best work, man. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my nut off and go to sleep. So, I, but now I'm got like, a job in Friday the morning. through gotta... Sunday, I'm going to put some work in. I Wait, so it's the, a weekday thing. It's a week, man, I got to go to work in the morning. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mm-mm. man, shit. I'm laying a smackdown. If I gotta really, really, really like I, you if I'm trying I, to lay some smackdown. Like I ain't putting it on performance. Oh. So you trying to hit it and go? To say like it's mostly vibes. Like I, I'm very much a yeah. bobby person. Like we don't gotta be in love. We just the vibe gotta be there for it to be some good ass sex. But it's different because yeah. I, I've been in a long relationship, so we already got to Like I need a quickie. Let's, let's he knows get every it. part of that pussy. Yeah, He's, it's different. <laughs> it's different for yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's like, definitely that. different when feelings is involved. Mm-hmm. One thousand. Like when you just fucking somebody to fuck, it's that just like mm. the sport. But when you fuck it, yeah, it it ain't. It, it's just something to do, routine. right? Yeah. But when you fucking somebody that you fuck with, like you've been in a relationship with, like it's. I'm telling you, it's different. Like when I first got in a relationship, every time, the first like year or so, like every time you trying to put on a performance, like oh yeah, you ain't leaving me. So I'm trying to do everything. I'm, to do everything I I'm this, at the point now. We've. I'm, that's my fiance. I, I done fucked this for twelve years. It's still. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm. You still gotta pull up to the arena. Oh no, I do though. Like, like she know when it's coming. <laughs> she know when it's coming. It's On Friday, Saturday night. Friday, Saturday. <laughs> you know what, what time it is. Lord. Now, hey. How she go to bed on Friday and Saturday? With that dick in her. <laughs> with, with that oh dick. shoot and then on top of that man like it depends because on friday and saturday i'm staying up man i'm playing the game oh my god so i'm um <laughs> like <laughs> shit i'm gonna put down a smackdown 
I'm a, I'm a lay with you. She's like, hey, yeah, roll my back. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a do whatever it is. Take, make you like she gonna get a little nice little massage, and then. That yeah, that's what it's giving. Yeah. <laughs> that, you go, you go into the room and all you guys up. <laughs> you finish that current box and go straight to the Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she going to the rose. Yeah. Oh, hey, girl, you said the words. What you, what you mean? What you mean? She going to sleep. That well, coming out in the middle. That Xbox, coming out in the middle of it. Done on that rose. Hey, what you mean? She going to sleep after that. Travis is a rose. Travis love the rose. Oh, we do. That's coming out during the sex. On the box of the rose, it should be my face next to it. Oh, you you the rose queen. <laughs> Love it. That's how I'm gonna please you as the pull rose. Out, I'll, let the, I'll, let the, I'll fuck you for my two minutes and I'll let the rose do the rest of the work. I'll oh, go. I ain't <laughs> I'll go watch their game. You got it. That rose is intense. Whoever made the rose, I love you. Shout out to you. She don't even like the rose. She got yeah. her wine. You know, I mean, I she have a, down I have a few toys. Let me tell you, I have a, a sex oh. drawer and I have a oh, lot of toys. I like toys. What, I bet you do. The wand is okay. Oh, um, I gotta give you the right one. What you got? She gonna let I her borrow it. yours. So like. okay, so you know how most wines vibrate? Uh -huh. Mine spins. Okay, yeah. Oh, yo, that's something. different. I ain't yeah, seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> your spins? It does. Would you like one? I'm going to buy that today. <laughs> Christmas time's coming up. <laughs> got you. It yeah, the rose. I, on the top, a like lot the of women spins? don't like the rose, but you know I've been reading like reviews on the rose lately, and they say if you use the rose a lot, like it starts to fuck with your uh, sex drive and like reproduction. Cause yeah, you're, you get used to it, just that. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with my hand. You got just, used to it. <laughs> do you use but, lotion but or like is. baby oil? Nah, you got to do something I different straight, every time like with the rose. It's like sandpaper on my dick. So, that's why I come so quick now. It's like <laughs> with the with the rose, you get to... suction and you get you get suction and vibration. With like the wands, you only get pure vibration. But that's you're why killing you killing them the damn cells, bro. Get the one that spins. That shit crazy. After a while, the toys is gonna put y'all out of business. What you mean? <laughs> Have you not seen the men toys? Yeah, the men. Oh, them oh, shits is the crazy. Gok Gok 3000. Not like, oh, the Gok Gok 3000 fire. <laughs> what is a new that? One called, like, the Jack does Rabbit. It, what does it do? Oh, it's like it spins around. You put like a little bit of lube in it. It mm -hmm. spins around your dick. And then like you go up and down. Oh, Suck I'm about to make somebody a lot of money because for a little period of time, I was very nervous about all these little sex dolls that was being made. Mm -hmm. But if a bitch make a nigga one, Baby, they got those though. They got them where they like they have the body, the abs, and everything. Like you see them on only I fans, they got all that shit. But now, yeah, I'm talking about the real like robots, control. like the robot girlfriends and wives that they're making. Yeah, just make me a nigga, build me one. Oh, and it's over. You go. I'm gonna build me a nigga. <laughs> The the problem with that is people we leave we losing all interaction with people. First off, we texting, we texting nonstop. We gonna talk about that shit. Next thing you know, you ain't gonna need to talk to nobody. <laughs> like bitch, I want to cuss you out, motherfucker. Like my, my well, some girl. Sorry, she Friday. Was happy she couldn't argue with that, me. Like fuck. Like you gotta be happy to argue with. Friday, that pussy was wet. <laughs> like, like he he talking to you and shit. <laughs> Oh. We found something a little spicy. What is the freakiest thing that you've ever done? I've answered it before. Answer it again. Shit. So I met this girl named Bella. Who oh, <laughs> <laughs> was doing a little podcast or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh, she was like, damn, Kyle, I want to have your baby and shit. <laughs> so I was like, man, I don't know about all that. And then one thing led to another. She put that fat ass in my face and shit. I don't know what happened after Ooh. that, but it got it got pretty freaky, pretty spicy. <laughs> Next thing I know, I got a fucking two year old kid and shit. And uh, this is two a years from now. That I'm baby. Yeah, yeah, pretty okay. little mixed baby. Nice hair, mm. better than mine. My hairline's receding. Luckily, he's got your hair. <laughs> um, you know, athlete. What's the freaky thing you've done? Pull out diamond. I'm not a freaking motherfucker, though. I'm, I'm just chill. I, I done licked on the armpit before. I mean, that like, was nasty. <laughs> what do y'all consider freaky? I'm just trying to think. What do you consider freaky? <clears throat> no, I'm saying, like, give me an idea. Like, what do you consider in your... Like, what's freaky? Uh, you, I mean, everybody do that. Everybody suck on balls. You suck on ass. You done got your ass ate. I'm sure you got your ass ate. Ain't nobody not eating your ass. Uh, um... 
Yeah. Oh no, I'm not fucking in front of my homegirls. You uh, you take a strap on. Orgies are pretty freaky. You done, you done, you done did anal. You done had sex with like four people, and you done had a train ran on you. No, no trains, baby. Um, okay, maybe so like I've been having sex before. You had an SUV. Somebody spit in my mouth. Ew. Spit in your mouth. <laughs> spit in your mouth. Spit in your mouth. <laughs> spit in your mouth is freaky. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. That is nasty. <laughs> you I ever been gang bang? You had somebody in your no, mouth. No, ain't somebody nobody gang banging okay. me. Okay. Um, we trying to think of freaky shit, right? I mean, they. What I about what about dominate d- dominatrix shit like handcuffed? Uh, Bondage. Bondage. No, I never did bondage. So you ain't freaky like that. I, I don't do so. I didn't see shit. my freaky thing. But what's your, what's your, what I was kind of, I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm not sad, but like. Like. I've been handcuffed before. It's too hot for TV. It's too hot for TV? <laughs> <laughs> we on YouTube. We ain't on TV. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I don't do some shit. I don't do some <clears throat> shit. I don't did a lot of shit, but I've never had a threesome. You never had a threesome? No. See, I've had a threesome before. You really? Yeah. You like it? I th- it was cool. It was cool, but it wasn't like... You know what's crazy? Like, in my head, it was, it's like mediocre. In my head, it was way better than what I thought it was going to be. I, think, I mean, in my head, in my head, I thought it was going to be way better than what it actually was. See, people that's what people tell me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to... You got to buy... That's right. why I said I would date like a bisexual woman, because I feel like, all right, so if I, if I get married to you, I probably... Not gonna necessarily want to have sex with just you for the rest of my life. So if I get a bisexual woman and we like can kick it and vibe and be like, obviously you wouldn't want to pick somebody like you necessarily know, but you can go like maybe out of town and be like, yo, that person, right? But I think threesomes nowadays is more so for the hype and not the experience. I would agree. So it's with like that. you forcing it, so you not really getting like the experience. You know, yeah. I feel like a threesome is some bomb ass shit. Like you out of town, you on the island, and a group of people there. Yeah. Y'all done been lit all day. Y'all done went to the club, and you go get in the shower. Mm-hmm. You done wash, and you turn around and like, boom, this bitch just get in your bed, and y'all just fuck. I feel like when it's planned, it's not really... It's a lot it, of pressure. It's better spontaneous. Yeah. And then again, I'm a jackrabbit, so yeah. <laughs> I got a jackrabbit. Yeah, that was too much pussy for you anyway, so I don't know why you tried that. So I got a jackrabbit, this bitch, jackrabbit, that bitch, and then y'all got to eat each other out for 30 minutes to make each other yeah, happy, so it's like... Because you going to sleep. Yeah, because I'm... All right, I've done my part. Like, I'm dick you... I want like a chick ride my shit, ride my face, and like suck you off at the same. Ride me at the same. So you want somebody on your face and somebody on your dick? Hell yeah! So when do you have time to breathe? (laughs) Breathing's over. (laughs) (laughs) Breathing overrated at this point. Strong enough, you can lift her ass up. up. Got you. From the back, she eat the other girl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You gotta everybody getting something at the same. That's what I. That's what I did. I was in there from the back, and she was. But that's why I say it gotta be like a chemistry thing. Yeah, you can't just wake up in the morning and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna have a threesome today." I've been offered, I've been offered one that I turned down too. Actually, I've been offered two that I turned. Down. Y'all ever seen like the movie Superfly? Yeah, I have seen mm-hmm. Superfly. Bro, oh, that little chemistry right there between that was the perfect. That was perfect chemistry. That's what you need right there. It's, they had each other back. The women had each other back. The they man. had the dude back. Yeah. Like, what? What else you need at that? I'm point? too territorial. I think. If I was to have a threesome, it would have to be with two women. It would have to be. If you do it, it but be your the girl who want the girl who won't fuck another woman is gonna have a threesome with two women. Yeah, if it. Can it be. Be like, but if you, I don't fuck women, so. If you just smashing on a nigga, this that and the third, you, you know what I'm saying, and you don't plan on being it. with him, <laughs> then you do it I with him and another like girl. That. The women on here be going crazy on Friday. <laughs> No, I'm saying if you if you smashing on a nigga this that and the third and mm-hmm. y'all ain't you, y'all don't have no plans on being together mm-hmm. and you're territorial, you do it with him and another girl. You don't. No, do it, it would still piss me off. Name. It would still piss me off. That's what I'm it's got to be with two females because I know I don't want either one of them. I'm too emotional when it comes to sex. Like I don't know how to separate the two. So mm. I have to like knock Sport. her ass. Out. You know what's so crazy? A lot of people don't know how to separate emotions when it comes to sex. Like I see it so often. Like you might just be. Not speaking for me, but I'm just working in the nightlife. You see a lot of shit. Like, you might see a nigga come in the bar Friday with this bitch, Saturday with this bitch, Sunday with this bitch. Then on Tuesday, he with a whole nother bitch, and a bitch on Tuesday want to fight everybody. I'm like, girl, this ain't either none of y'all nigga. Everybody just fucking, like, just chill. We can't point the camera to y'all pointing at him. Women, women, 
women oh, are the oh ones boy, that can like identify. It's not them. women. It's not women. It's men because men are not really. Um, how can I say it? What, what, what? Like, I didn't, I, they I, ain't pee like instead of you want to make it seem like you loving everybody like. You can't fucking lay up. When you fucking lay up with somebody three or four times out the week, you're bound to catch feelings with them. You feel you what I'm saying? To. Like, you don't fucking go home. Like, after you fuck, you you go. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't fucking lay up. You don't fucking wind and down. You don't fucking take trips. Like, if we fucking, we just fucking. It's the men. It's not the women because you're giving a woman a vibe that you can't maintain. So, mm-hmm. when you fucking me and staying the night and cuddling with me, you making me feel like it's something. So, but now who- you my man. But you who, my man, okay? And but I'm gonna who beat is your the ass. one? But who's the? I can't like the man is giving the woman that experience, yes. But the man is also not the one upset at the same time. Oh, don't get it twisted. Let yeah, me, let me. The niggas you be texting your phone on the back end. Yeah, like I ain't gonna oh, lie. bitch, you I, just I, came in the tight. club with this nigga. Yeah, I definitely get tight. So you do? You get mad? Yeah, I everybody can, get mad. I can bring. They all get mad. I can bring five girls in a club in a week. Five different girls, and if if the right one bring another dude in the club, I'm still gonna get tight. I'm a, you're I, selfish. I'm extremely selfish. <laughs> but I've never I've never brought more than one woman out in a week, so I don't oh know God. what anybody's oh, talking about. Oh, fucking game. I just yo. saw you Thursday. <laughs> Thanks. Yo, the funny shit when they caught that. <laughs> they caught that shit on a recap video one time. I said, mm. <laughs> yo, whoever you saw me with Thursday, you'll never see me with again. I know that. Oh. I know that for a motherfucking fact. I'm a man. I ain't see you Thursday. Oh, I thought you did. (laughs) 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 I did. did. Now, why Kiki Palm on the um, bottom of this? I was going to say, if y'all wanted to talk about it, that was up to y'all. Kiki Palm on her baby daddy is a pussy. No, we gonna let you Please. want. I feel like we should yeah. talk about it. Just because we'll, you a mother don't mean you can't live. All right, wait, go ahead. Let, let's talk. Lay about it out, All right, lay it so out this is we don't normally do topical shit like timely shit, mm-hmm. but a Kiki Palmer thing happened last week. So she went to the concert, Usher concert, ass out. Okay, no, no, the ass really out though. It was, the ass it was a thong was body just, suit. Mesh. So I'm gonna say that mesh, mesh body suit, right? Danced on Usher a little bit. Let the baby. No, dance. she didn't dance on Usher. Usher just walked up to her and was just <laughs> like, oh. he said I'm, "Hey, I'm I'm telling the story. I might actually be on the y'all insecurities side. is kicking I'm about, in. Hey, I might be on y'all side here. I think maybe she did a little too much on the dance shit, but I don't really mind. And so her baby dad tweets out, "You're a mother, right? Like, mm-hmm. what is you wearing? You're a mother, and that's what he tweets out." So and your daddy and we are parents. That is People correct. People take the term mother My, and they put mother with grandmother. Well, mother, I, the thing is, a mother can live a life. So I actually uh, agree with you. I see why he was upset. I 1000% see why he was upset. So I get, I have no problem with him being upset. I disagree 1000% with the way he handled it. Yeah. Because he was not upset because she was a mother. Let's be honest. He didn't give a fuck about her being a mother in that His situation. Ego got hurt. His ego and pride got hurt. So he tweeted out, You're a mother. Like, nobody gives a shit. Like, he wasn't like. Motherfucker was mad because she's over here with her ass out twerking in front of Usher. He's not upset. But she wasn't really twerking. I, from what I, I gotta look at the she video. She had a no, 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 no. I got you. I got she you. wasn't she, really twerking. She had a sheer thong bodysuit. So, so when you're wearing like a thong dress <clears> and a <throat> see through, you gotta one thing when you like transition to motherhood from a dad's perspective is, all right, now we got kids together. Now your kids gonna see this. Now, and it's still she wasn't throwing yeah. ass like, oh, like, like painted hey, out like this hey, bitch this was just wilding out. That nigga was mad because he was about to have a Boondocks episode. <laughs> you, you are upset. Okay, I get it. You want you do want your the <laughs> mother of your <laughs> child to represent <laughs> you in a classy way. With that said, you are in Las Vegas. The fucking what happens in Vegas is supposed to stay in Vegas. Now, First I guess of all, what, wasn't nothing unclassy about what she I, guess, I just um, feel like as a mother, even, it's okay to let your hair down. When dads go out, y'all don't give a fuck about no mother. I when agree. y'all be in the strip club with y'all face between the strippers' asses and shit. But we, sure we, but we not. Shit. My dick, my dick is not out showing it. I'm not out showing my dick anywhere. The like, I'm, the prime real estate on a woman is her no, pussy. Is her pussy, her ass, and her titties. Yeah, you showing any of that? 
you you showing your pride. That's insecure. Estate. Like if you know this your baby mama, this your woman, she coming home to you and you're secure. What she wear, she, what you wear doesn't depict your character. But like see, I could come outside in the all see through titties out, ass out, but that don't mean shit. That don't mean you can get next to me. That that don't define your character. Like if you know your person, that shouldn't matter. Well, see, see but other that people, mean well, see, that's like, your you, security. You, yeah. you you're insecure. No, that is no. your security. But if you do have a man at home, if you have a man. Respect don't you feel levels. like you should respect his opinion on what How you do you should know? But no, 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 no. She probably go out like that all the time. He probably know that she go out like that. I highly he do. just I mad. Just he just embarrassed. Usher, bro. Yeah, he just that embarrassed because don't it was leave Usher. your girl around me. True player hey, for, for real. Me. Hey, <laughs> my nigga for real. I'm agreeing with y'all. I felt like. He, I feel like there's some other underlying shit in their whole relationship. No, she just been on fire since she had that baby, and I'm telling you, like that Man. ego is fucking hurt. Like Kiki yeah. been and, on this shit, and since no she had offense that baby. to him, but he he really nobody compared to who she is. Like she Kiki Palmer, people know who she is. I never heard of her, her husband before until this. So her baby her dad, husband, her, okay, baby her dad, baby my dad. bad. I don't, see, I don't even know that they fucking married. I'm so, just. It's like, but I, as a man, if I'm in a relationship and my girl goes on like a girl's trip, cool, you going out on a girl's trip, I expect you to have fun. Shit, it's a girl I'm not even in a relationship with. She going on a girl's trip, end of the month. As much as you talk about this girl, this the, this the problem. Hey, but see, this the problem you right here. don't even know who the girl is. This, this the problem right here. Y'all looking at it as a situation right now. Ever since they've been together... When have you seen Kiki Palmer dressing crazy like that? But she well, in we Vegas. Don't know, we don't know what she doing. We'll, on yeah, we only see what they show. Paparazzi us. is her, out there bro, bro, looking for her. Bro, they we, get paid they, 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 they pictures. They're not checking for her like it's, that right now. They only got her right now just because she was that at that concert. Yeah. Right and he there. and they wouldn't even known about her had he not tweeted out, "You a mom." Oh, see, see, and this is. And you know what you this remind me of? This is the crazy part. Bullshit. This, this no. what it remind me of. Niggas this. always got a standard that they don't hold they fucking selves. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it to you like this. This is the this is like the facade and the the hot topic that a lot of people don't pay attention to. I'm gonna give you point case and example. Drake when he had his first when he had his child. Mm-hmm. When Pusha T put that in the diss track, everybody lost their shit. Oh my God, he put his bro. That shit been in the tabloids and shit. If you really follow information and shit, that shit been out when she first got pregnant. That's the same thing with this relationship. You only seeing now because it's hyped up. You don't see Kiki Palmer prior to that. They've been together for what? They've been together for a couple years. We ain't seen nothing crazy about Kiki Palmer. She ain't been dressing like that. It's the one time. How we know that? We don't see but Kiki Palmer like, every day. You don't see And it. I'm going to be honest. It's you kind of so, upsetting me that you yeah. like so on this thing of how she dressed. Like that shit really don't fucking matter. I don't like, really, it don't. It I'm don't. Not, it don't. But they, they may have like a. Your you, bitch you, can wear a business suit every day and be the biggest hoe. So what? That 100%. 100%. But see, Shit, nurses be like the biggest whole profession and they be in scrubs every motherfucking day. Yeah, so Teachers again, is nasty yeah. as fuck. But, teachers is whores. But it's, so. it's Preachers is whores. They fucking the fucking children in the uh, congregation. Exactly. But be, see, that's their, but yeah. that's their relationship. You, we we diving into they shit like so, we know what the fuck they so got So morally, on. do what works for you. I don't, I don't mind what she but wants. My thing you, is, though, if... I, all right, so if I'm in a relationship with you, you go out of town, I'm going to let you have your fun, whatever. But at least have some respect for me. So if you if you wear that outfit and I if I have a problem with it, I might text you or call you later that night and be like, yo, I ain't really like the way that shit, and we're going to have a private conversation. First of all, I'm very much sure if he had a problem, it would have been addressed yeah. before she went But that's out. what but people wear. Like, it, it's like, the truth. He might have. My thing well, is, we don't know. it sounds like he found out in live time by watching her story, seeing her little ass out and shit, and then he... She don't even got a big, fat, voluptuous ass for him to be tripping. It don't matter what she tripping. got. If that's your woman and her ass is out... All that shit was tabloid shit, bro. It's tabloid. Shit tabloid. tabloid. See... That's that the that's shit, bro. He do that shit. He do that shit all the time, bro. Yeah, he do that shit with regular bitches, just that in the third. That's tabloid. He shit does it. He does. It's the it's that seat, like so. Yeah. When if you go to the Vegas concert, he gonna go over there and dance. with yeah. it's part of his show. So it's like as a man, I'm gonna sit there and respect it. But I can see as a man why you would also get tight if your girl out there. And that outfit. And he should have addressed it at home and not on Twitter. That's why a thousand hey. percent where I agree with you. Hey, I'm gonna put it to you like this. I already know, me and my fiance, we already got it. We already understand where we at, how we need to be in public with, with other people. 
Cool. Now, uh, in September, the little baby concert coming out. Yeah. She about to go to the concert. I'm going to drop her off to the concert. I'm not going because I'm not a little baby fan. Now, if I it. see on the thing she acting in a way that she ain't supposed to be acting, I'm going to have a fucking problem with it. That's you going to tweet it. about it, though, or are you going to talk about it at home? I'm going to talk about it at home. I'm not, I'm not out there like that. I don't have a fan base for me. I got, what, a couple hundred followers on Twitter. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. It, it, that, that is the mother of your child. Your problem was not the fact that she was a mother. Let's be honest. Your problem was you got tight because you saw your girl around Usher and she had her ass out, and you felt some type of way. That's exactly what it the didn't give was. me whole vibes. It gave me like she was having a good time. She was having a good time, and yeah, I, like, I the the, the energy and with the tabloids also they can make shit look in a perspective that it's not like I've seen Usher concerts on like snapping shit, and the energy is through the roof. Like he puts on a good I would performance. Love to go. I would, she happy to be there. She ain't yeah, worried about. I would, about, I would you love know? It. if I got famous. Should I'd I love to go to, to Usher concerts? Love, shit, I might be hey, worse than Kiki. Ass, <laughs> well, I'll take you to that seat. Let Usher dance on you. I ain't gonna get jealous. Shit. Let me tell you hey, something. Bella gonna have something on more fire than that. I'll tell I you. be oh, a groupie, know. baby. And, and I want to hear that. I think it would be a lot different too if he was there. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, he chose to stay his boring ass at home. (laughs) (laughs) Usher probably still would have went over there. Yeah, it still had a good time. Yeah, it might have been. She might have acted a little different or whatever. Yeah. But Usher was still going to do that this, that, and the third. So, like, at the end of the day, like, it's still going to get done. It's part of the show. Yeah, and yeah. But it is, like, if you're there in the moment, you're saying, okay, it's part of the show. If you're at home just watching the story, like, you just... Things get a little tight in the situation. But as a man, you got to put your pride to the side and just eat that for a minute and just be like. Men need to stay off the fucking I'm, internet. Be I'm a like, man. If you don't like something, bro, voice your opinion to me. Like, go, going on Twitter ain't going to solve the situation or bring a resolution. It's only, it's only yeah, going to It's going to make it worse now and put more no people in your business. And now oh. the whole world know. Oh, now everything she posts, she posts some shit about. She posted some video or some shit right. recently. You gotta understand what type of woman that you with at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Like also, of if you're a woman, that be the you. type of woman for you. You know what I'm saying? You thought that was, but it ain't. Yeah. And okay. if that woman up on you and she the celebrity, you gotta take what comes with exactly. that shit. So, yeah. I right, mean, so, different strokes for different folks. So you we, know what's crazy? Mm-hmm. I see this often. Oftentimes, and sometimes men don't realize this, they're jealous of their female partners. Because they got more of a following, more attention. Bigger. Yeah, so I like. Gonna be ready for that type yeah. of shit. I've always liked being with a girl that's gonna draw attention. Though I don't want no lady. It depends. Picture, yeah, though. it depends. If you like an introvert or extrovert, me. Besides Friday, she's the only lame person I like being around. It de- hey, it's lit, baby. I'll be the biggest lame ever. Who the fuck? That's cool. Seven, don't try you. Hey, I, just, girl, I wear my shit proud. I just real quick. Girl, just real quick. Bad, <laughs> Y'all know back in the BET Awards or whatever, when like Janet Jackson had that dude on the stage and he was fucking going crazy. She had him on like that little cross looking thing, and he was like, she was like, kind of like dancing around him. I he was like to watch about BET to pass Award. out. Yeah, just are you stupid? He he damn near passed out. In all honesty, if his woman had a fit. I don't see why she, I don't. I mean, it's fucking Janet Jackson. That probably was a once in a My lifetime thing is experience. That, yeah, if it's a celebrity, I'm I can't. Not I'm not even getting Like, but that's that's where you got to understand that even then, you might not be ready for the relationship. Yeah, and what comes with it. So, so that's a you problem. <laughs> but you should, I mean, you should also communicate yeah. on some shit up front too. But some situations you can't be prepared for. But I mean, as a as her man, he should have known. Okay, she going to the Usher concert. She might wear this. She probably gonna have a good time. Let her have fun. It's if, just crazy. If I don't like to Usher concert, to not have fun. What's so listen, yeah. I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna leave that topic alone. Yeah. When women have a baby, you don't know what emotions, emotions that they are going through. You don't know if she was going through postpartum. You don't know if she was feeling like she was losing herself, and that outfit gave her her confidence that night. Like. Motherfuckers be on the outside looking in, but they don't really know the mental behind it. Like, it's a lot more. So, until you experience... Me, too. Because I I haven't physically given birth. Until you've given birth and you experience 
the mental and the things that it do to your body, you can't say shit. She she might was looking in the mirror like, damn, I don't look good, but she put on that outfit and it made her feel like, you know, I'm that bitch tonight. And, I come and over she and probably ain't been feeling her. like that in a long time. And men, you so quick to go to the internet and judge her or belittle her, not knowing what's really going on in her mind. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that probably was her first night out in a while. Like, I get to let my hair down. I don't got my baby. I don't got my baby daddy. Ain't nobody calling me about my child. Like, let me have a good time. But yeah. you so quick to get on the internet and talk about it, but not knowing what's really the underlying issue. Like, I love that. Any closing thoughts, Friday? Welcome back. Whatever. You kill me again, I'm not coming the fuck back. <laughs> Any, it's over with. Yeah, whatever. Anytime I call you, you're going to pull up and call. I'm not all right, about it. All right. So, oh. Jesus got Easter. What does Friday have? Every Friday. Every, Every Friday. Friday. Ooh. Friday. Ooh. <laughs> One day out of the week. Fridays. It's lit. <laughs> well, thank you for coming back Friday. The best mm -hmm. co host in the world. Oh, it's, uh, it's up next time, I'm telling you. I can't wait to drink again. All right. Well, that's it for this week's edition of KB's Bar Talk. This episode was brought to you by the Usher Show in Vegas. He's got a residency out there. Please Usher, make... please fly me out. Yeah, please fly And me. pull up I to really the Athens wanna... in Charlotte on Sundays. Yeah, I'm going to be there sometime. Come see me and leave a bag at the bar. Hey, bring some please. money if you're going. They got yes, money please in Please bring fucking. the money. Please bring the money. Shout out to Usher. We will be at the Usher Show. Uh... Hopefully it's still going on for Super Bowl weekend because we coming out there Super Bowl nah, weekend to Vegas. Like next month oh shit! For but real? His residency about to be up. Oh, we coming in September then. We'll see. No, you I'm soon. going to see us. I promise you, I'm going to see us. Yeah, I'm yeah. Have to. I, that's the experience that I got to experience. Went, she said she had a good time. Oh, your mom was in that little. She wore her ass out in the little. <laughs> she, 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 that's what she want to do. That's what she want to do. I can't. Yeah. Thank you, Friday, for coming back. We have loved you and missed you, despite the amount of shit we've talked about you on the last three episodes. Thank you, Miss Bella Sky, for coming, pulling up. We had a great time with you. Uh, we'll be back next week where we'll try and find a more beautiful, more entertaining co-host, but it'll be difficult to do. Don't drink and drive unless you want to. Bye. <laughs>